Bonjour, good morning, welcome to What is School of Languages. This morning, we shall have a look at the past questions from 2001 to 2020. First of all, let's go and have a look at the past question of 2001. In this particular lesson, we shall treat the objectives of the past question 20, 2001. In the part one of the objectives, there's an instruction we are supposed to follow in such a way that we'll be able to answer your questions the way it should be. Let's read the instruction. The passage below has 10 numbered spaces, followed by four options letters A to D. Choose the options from the options the correct word that will fit into each numbered space and shade on your answer sheet the letter of the answer you have chosen. There's an anti, anti space here in the passage that I'm going to read. So you look at it very carefully so that you'll be able to provide the answers yourself as I finish reading. A la chasse des oiseaux. Un beau matin, Samba et Ami Kituli ont décidé d'aller à la chasse des oiseaux. Ils sont allés dans une forêt qui se trouvait à 5 km du village. Samba et Kituli se sont mis en route de très bonne heure. Chacun d'eux a pris son fusil. Arrivés à la forêt, les deux garçons ont décidé de nager dans une petite rivière avant de commencer la chasse. Ils ont enlevé habits et les ont placés sous un grand arbre. Les deux amis ont pendant une heure parce qu'ils faisaient beau. Finalement, ils sont sortis de l'eau. Vous les saviez et les habits n'étaient pas là. Samba le courageux a cherché partout pour trouver les vêtements perdus. Kitouli, lui, s'est mis par terre et a commencé à pleurer. Après quelques instants, Samba a crié très fort et a appelé son ami. Ils venaient de trouver leurs habits sur un arbre. En même temps, ils ont entendu les cris des singes. Samba est monté sur l'arbre et a ramassé les habits. Les malheureux garçons sont chez eux tristes et sans oiseaux. This is the end of the passage. We are going to have a look at the questions or the provided answers from letter A to D, number one to Thing that we are supposed to solve. Number one, we have son, ta, ton, ta. The correct answer is a son. Number two, we have de, du, o, de la. And the correct answer is b, du. Number three, we have su. Ou par un. The correct answer is un. Number four, jeune, grand, jeune, grand. The correct answer is jeune. Number five, leur, c'est, c'est, leur. The correct answer is leur, dit. Number six, Nage, nager, nage, nager. The correct answer is B, nager. Number seven, puis, et, alors, donc. The correct answer is A, B. Number eight, parce que, puisque, comme, mais. The correct answer is mais, D. Number nine, soudain, alors, heureusement, Puisque the correct answer is heureusement, puisque heureusement si. Number 10, rentrer, 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 rentrer. The correct answer is si, rentrer. This is the end of the first part of the objective. As we have already noticed, it is so simple to choose the correct answer. The reason being behind it is that 
you need to know at least the meaning of the words into the passage. Because when answers are being provided like this, you don't need to rush, you take your time, sentence after sentence, and you just compare the words that are given to you. You will see that some of them may be prepositions, adjectives, adverbs, and what have you. In that case, you are supposed to choose the correct one according to the meaning of the word in the passage. Today, we shall end here for the first part in the objectives of 2001 BC questions. I hope you were blessed. You have a good day. And as I'm leaving you, I will entreat you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, What is School of Languages? To learn more. Merci, au revoir, et à la semaine prochaine.